Welcome to the Sonia Student User Guide step-by-step -step tutorial series. During this module, we will cover step five, completing your checks. You cannot begin your internship until you have completed certain activities or certain forms. We call these checks. Keep in mind, there might be other activities that might need to be completed through Canvas as well before you begin your internship. However, checks submitted through Sonia include your student forms, which are the orientation acknowledgement, the student agreement, the student waiver. If you're conducting your internship at locations like Renown or Washoe County Health District, they require an attestation form. So that is an additional requirement under special forms. Declaration of originality, which may or may not be required for your particular class. See your syllabus for details. In addition to the sexual harassment training from the Title IX office, again, refer to your syllabus and your instructor on whether or not that's a requirement for your class. And you also will complete the project management plan in Sonia. All documents must be read, signed with a wet signature, scanned, and uploaded to Sonia as a PDF. As of now, we are not accepting digital signatures. Okay, so let's go to Sonia and see how we complete these checks. After you log into Sonia, you can actually download the forms directly from the home page. All you have to do is go to this right hand column under documents, and you can see here student forms CHS 494, which is the undergraduate field studies class, or student form CHS 798, which is the graduate field studies class and the forms do vary slightly so make sure you're getting the appropriate form so just click the little carrot there and you can see declaration of originality orientation acknowledgement student agreement student waiver basically everything you need to turn in and suffice your checks the other thing I want to bring to your attention is the special forms which I referred to earlier if you are conducting your internship at Renown or Washoe County Health District they have additional requirements before you can begin your internship including certain immunizations, background checks, drug screenings, things of that nature. So I would definitely download that form and see what you have to do because you have to complete those items before you can even sign the form and then turn in the form to Sonia. All right, let's actually submit those checks. So after you have downloaded the form, you read the form, you signed the form, you scanned the form, you turned it into a PDF, you're ready to upload that form, click the checks tab, and you can see here is a list of all the checks that you need to complete before you can begin your internship. Um, let's look at this legend here where you can see the star means the check is mandatory, which all of the checks are mandatory here. And then the little caution sign means check not passed, which means you haven't completed it yet. Also, it's color coded. So if the box is red here, it means that you have not completed that check. If it's grayed out, it usually means that you have completed that check unless you see the little not complete verbiage here in the upper right hand corner. And that means it looks like it's complete because it's grayed out. Yes, I switched the value to yes. I uploaded the document, but I forgot to press submit. So make sure you're pressing that submit button. And that's really to spice the check. That's what you do. You change the value to yes. You press the little browse button, you look for the document on your computer, and then you press save. That fires off that check, and it will be considered complete. Um, also, you probably already saw it when you were looking for your internship, uh, but you can see here when you go to the placements tab that there's a big red box that says outstanding checks, which is a little alarming, and it gives you a, a list of all the checks that you haven't completed yet. Uh, when you start completing these checks, of course, the this list will get smaller and then it, it will eventually go away. The last thing I want to bring to your attention regarding checks is the project management plan. So you see it here at the very bottom and it doesn't have that value box. It doesn't have a place for you to upload a document. And that's because the project management plan is special. It's actually a form and that form is not available to you until you have submitted your site for approval and the field office actually approves that site. So once your site is approved, Sonia will fire off an email that says, hey, your site is approved. It's now time for you to complete the project management plan. And then it'll give you a link for you to do that. 
But like I said before, you will not get access to that project management plan until your site is officially approved. I'll show you what that email looks like in just a second. Once you have submitted your site for approval and the field office officially approves that site, you will get an email directly from Sonia telling you that our records indicate your internship site has been approved. Before you begin your internship hours, your project management plan or PMP must be completed and approved by your instructor. And you can see here it get, lists the forms that you have to complete. In this case, the project management plan, the date created, completed mine, completed all. So completed mine means the forms that you have to complete, which is zero out of one, which means you haven't completed. If you did, it would reflect one out of one. And then completed all means the total number of forms that Sonia says are under your account that have to be completed. And then a little link to editing your form. So when you click that link, it'll actually look like this. This is your official project management plan. As I said before, you will not have access to this plan until your site is officially approved. And you can see here, you have to fill out a, a work plan. It's basically a work plan between you and your preceptor and the agency on how you're going to complete a certain activity within the 100 hours allotted to you. You're going to have goal statements, SMART objectives, activities, anticipated outcomes, resources. You're going to estimate a timeline and also give yourself some deadlines. I'm going to go into the project management plan a little bit more in the next module, so I'm not going to belabor this. Uh, however, I want to bring to your attention that there are little red stars here, which means they're mandatory, which means you have to complete the goal statement. You have to complete at least the first two objectives thoroughly in this work plan, although there's four available for you to fill out if you want. And then there's a discussion area at the end that you would have to complete. You can save the draft if you're working on it over time, or you press the submit button if you want to kick it off to be graded so you can complete this check. Now, if you kick it off to get graded by your instructor, they approve it. Um, this box right here will turn gray and your check will officially be completed. Um, and then the other thing I want to bring to your attention, if you are working on the form, but you haven't fired it off to be graded yet, it's going to be under here under your forms tab. So you can see right here, the project management plan, you just press that little red edit button and that takes you back to the project management plan. So you can finish the work that you started. So a big question that students often have is when can you officially begin your internship? And I'm just going to refer to undergraduate CHS 494 right here. So you can begin your internship when you have attended the first class orientation webinar, which is indicated in your syllabus. You completed the orientation quiz, which is in Canvas. You downloaded, read, signed all the student forms or completed all your checks in Sonia, which include the orientation acknowledgement, the student learning agreement, the student waiver, the declaration of originality. May or may not include the sexual harassment training. See your syllabus and instructor about that. And then you submitted your internship site and it was approved by the field office and you submitted your project management plan and it was approved by your instructor. That is what you need to begin your internship officially. You cannot start accumulating hours until all of these items have been completed. Now that you know how to complete your checks in Sonia, now let's dip into the project management plan in a little bit more detail.